is the reason we have come so takala balika sota oh for they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength Lord we've come for strength for you Lord renewer we've come for a divine exchange we've come for a divine exchange oh God we come Lord so that we might encounter you oh God reke soto karibara basi for we have no other but you we have no other but you oh Lord, we bring all our thanks to you. We bring all our praise to you. We bring to you our sacrifice of praise. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord, the giver of life. The psalmist said, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. The Bible says that I went to bed and I woke up because the Lord sustained me, not because of the alarm clock, but the Lord sustained me. My life is hidden with God. In you we live, in you we move. In you we have a being. Our lives are not our own. You toto krodo shakariyana. All of my days, O God, will I bring you praise. All of my days, O God, will I give you praise. Come on, church, it's time to be intentional about the praise that you bring before your Father. He said, we give you our praise, O God. We give you our accolade. We give you all the glory, Lord, the Mahatek. Lay <laughs> 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 From them that walk uprightly, we worship you, gracious Father. We worship you, God of mercy. Oh, a new month is upon us again, and we are very grateful, oh God. We are grateful for this month of August. We are grateful for the eighth month of the year. I give you thanks. I give you 
Jesus. How did we get here? Oh Lord, it is because of your mercy. It is because of your compassion. You are good and your mercy and your forever. How great are you, God? You are forever. Lord, thank you. Thank you. It is because of your mercy that we have not been pursued. It is because of your love and kindness that we are here. The God of our flesh. Hallelujah. <laughs> Lebro doso to Kabashada. We're going to read straight out of Psalm 84 from verse 7. It says, They go from strength to strength. Every one of them is Zion, apparent before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Greet ear, O God of Jacob. Behold, O God, you are a shield and you look upon the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Because the Lord is a son and shield, the Lord will give grace and glory. Glory be to God. He will give grace and glory. Remember, they started from the presence of God and the Lord, the son and shield, he gives grace and glory. As we appear in his presence this evening, we can expect grace and glory in an abundant measure. Oh, Nabarabasu Karia, no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Oh, Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusts in you. Brothers and sisters, blessed are you that trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord. This morning, we're just, this evening, we're just going to go straight into praying about our relationship with the Lord. And this is, I just want to read to us the standard that God expects in Leviticus chapter 6 and verse 12 to 13. The Bible says the fire on the altar shall be kept burning on it. It shall not be put out. And the priest shall burn wood on it every morning. It is the priest that must burn the wood. Jesus made you a priest. That means you must burn the wood on that altar every day, every morning. Lay the burnt sacrifice, burnt offering on it in order, and it shall burn and it shall burn on it the fat of the piece of ring. A fire shall always be burning. A fire shall always be burning. As we continue in our prayers tonight, I want you to press for the fire of the presence of God, that it will continue to stay ablaze on your inside. Your heart is that altar. On your inside is where God lives. A fire shall always be burning on the altar. It shall never go out. I want you to begin to make that a prayer tonight, Lord, that I've come for the grace to, to, to receive grace, to maintain a consistent fire in your presence, a consistent fire on the altar of my heart unto you and to none other. I place the logs and the wood into that fire to keep it ablaze. Come on, church. This is our prayer tonight. That's our first prayer. Lord, that the fire that is ablaze on the inside of me 
we continue to burn. We continue to burn. We continue to burn. Marakase keria da boshada. Unmute yourselves. Let's pray and say, Lord, I have come for more of the fire in your presence. The Bible says in Psalm 97 that the fire goes before the presence of the Lord. Reke sotavayana. We connect with the fire of the presence of the Lord. We connect with the fire of the presence of the Lord. Reke soto krodo shikaria da bosada. Anybody hearing me? Matako de keshikaria. Amuse yourselves. Let's pray. Marika soda kashkada. Reke meri barado soto. The fire goes before him. The Bible says. Yo da de de ni keri bosoto. De de keshikaria da. Lord, it's your fire we desire tonight. It's your fire we desire tonight. No doto krete sikaria. Me te kese to kore ne hisana. Roko shete bre ne hisana. Lord, I've come for fire. Lord, I've come for fire. There are many things I could come for. But Lord, first of all, I have come for your fire. The Bible says that the whole expected, the whole the earnest of creation is waiting for me. I have come for fire. Oh, come on, church. I have come for fire. The earnest of creation, the entire creation is waiting for me. I'm not going to go without the fire. I have come for the fire. The fire. The Bible says, Jesus will baptize us with the Holy Ghost. That with fire, I have come, Lord, for the baptism with the Holy Ghost. That with fire, Lord, for your fire, the produce the tekenia hazana kuria na kuria, rekesi palabate tekenia. Pray tongues, pray tongues, somebody, and say, Lord, let your fire, let it consume me, let it consume me, so that all that is left is God. Oh Lord, I have come for fire. I have come, Lord, for the refiner's fire, the refiner's fire. You said this fire must not go out, this fire must not go out. I have come for the refiner's fire. I don't just want to hear about it in other people's life. I want that experience. The baptism in the Holy Ghost. The baptism of fire. By faith, I have come for the refiner's fire. 
name, Lord. I throw myself into the, uh, the fire of your altar. Then take the other that shut down so that all that is left is you, O oh God. All that is left is you, O oh God. the refiner's fire. We welcome the refiner's fire. Everything that is flesh, everything that is carnal, let it go through the fire of your presence, O God. There is a war that is going on. There is a war that is going on. Galatians chapter 5 verse 17 says that the flesh lost against the spirit, the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to another so that you do not do the things that you wish, but you are led. But if you are led by the spirit of God, you are not under the law. Hallelujah. There is a war that goes on on the inside of us. Jesus said the spirit is winning, but the flesh is weak. And tonight, because we have we, we are committed to a thriving, vibrant relationship with the Lord Jesus, a thriving vibrant life, a, cell, a, a life that is full of zeal for the Lord, a life that is on fire for the Lord, because we are committed to that. We have come for a, a divine exchange. We have come for purification in the fire of the spirit of the living God. The scriptures are clear that there is always an antagonizing situation between the flesh and the spirit. Uh, the, in book of, uh, um, Paul said in the book of Romans, he said they that are in the flesh, they cannot please God. And, and so to, to actually please God, we, we need to win that war uh, between the spirit and the flesh. The spirit needs to win. Hallelujah. And as we're praying in the Holy Ghost, the Bible says, building up yourselves on your most, most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. And we, we are allowing our spirit to, to rise above the dealings of our carnal nature. You're allowing your spirit to be equipped and strengthened to lead the the flesh and to lead the soul. And so tonight, as you continue to pray concerning the, 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 the baptism of fire, I want you to know that you are already 
winning that war, even though that walk wants to make you feel that, oh, there's not much to this you're praying. You need to believe the word of God more than what you feel like, more than what is staring you in the face. You need to say, I have believed the word of God, and therefore I align myself to the workings of the Spirit. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 13, God is at work in me. And you need to begin to say that tonight as we continue to press in because there is a world out there that needs to be won for the Lord. There is a world to save. There is a life to, to live with God in eternity. And this is the preparation ground. I want us to begin to believe God for that refiner's fire to do his job tonight. We're not just here because it's just another month. No, we're here to say, Lord, we have taken on a new month and we want to take it on with fire. We want to take it on with fire so that our, our, our existence on the earth will count for eternity, that will leave traces on this earth that are un unerasable or whatever that word should be, that cannot be erased, basically, that by the Spirit of God, we would impact the earth with the power of the Spirit of God. Unmute yourself. Let's pray again. We're saying that, that the Spirit of God win that war, win that through our spirit win that war against the flesh we win that war against the flesh what are the works of the flesh galatians 5 chapter 9, verse 19 says that the works of the flesh are evident they're adultery i mean that's a big one fornication uncleanness lewdness idolatry that's that's one that goes on every day even in our houses where we have exalted things above god we have even exalted ourselves above god tonight i want you to begin to repent and align with the holy spirit let his fire cleanse you. Paul said to Timothy that in a great house there are many vessels, but if a man will purge himself, tonight is the night to purge. Come on, unmute yourself and begin to receive the purging of the Spirit of God by that fire. Say, Holy Spirit, I'm open to your purging. I'm open to your purging. Purge me tonight, Holy Spirit. Purge me tonight, Holy Spirit. Purge me of the works of the flesh. Purge me outbursts of anger, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, drunkenness, revelings, selfish ambition, living as if the world revolves around me, living as if God is the one that, 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 that I, God is the one that answers to my, to my, my others, living as if I am my own master. All said in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20, you have been bought. You are somebody's slave. Belong to Jesus. You were paid for by Jesus. Come on, church. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let there be purification. Let there be cleansing. Let there be cleansing. Yes. Let it cleanse, cleanse our souls, our carnal nature, and 
We thank you. Your word says, submit yourself therefore to God. Then resist the devil. Thank you because, Lord, as we have submitted, we receive strength. Yes, to act with the authority that you have given to us. Thank you, Father, for a life that is submitted to you is a victorious life. Thank you, Father, that you have accepted us in the beloved. Thank you, Father, that you have given us the name of our Lord Jesus, which is above every other name. Thank you, Father. Because you said if a man will purge himself, he will be fit for the master's use. Thank you, Father, because the fire of the Holy Spirit, the refiner's fire, is at blaze on the inside of us and is cleansing and cleaning out and keeping us, Lord, oh, purified, fit for the master's use in the name of Jesus. Yes, we acknowledge that the whole world is waiting for us to manifest sonship and so father we have come first of all to be cleansed to be to be purified and reset so that we can go forth and manifest the sonship that you have paid the price for us to have in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, gracious Father. Roko Soto Brada Shikara. Someone says, I guess I don't even know what I've been called to do. Every one of us has their own calling. Every one of us has been called to manifest sonship. Wherever we're at, whichever um, uh, area of life, category of life that we are operating in, God expects us to manifest the sonship that he has given to us. And so this evening, I want you to begin to thank the Lord for his calling upon your life. The Bible says he that called us and anointed us, he is God. And so you have been called. You have been anointed. You might say, oh, I don't know what it is. How about if we continue to press into the presence of God so that our eyes will be further open? Paul said that the eyes of their understanding might be enlightened. The Bible says that we have been made able ministers of the New Testament. So, and therefore, you don't you don't even have to do you don't have to do anything to be anointed. God has already made you an able minister of the New Testament. What you want to do is to agree with Him. What you want to do is to obey Him. What you want to do is to yield to the Holy Spirit, the owner of the anointing. And so tonight, we, we are saying, Lord, whatever it is that you have called us to do, open our eyes to, to see, open our ears to hear, lead us, guide us, Move us in the direction of your will in the name of the Lord Jesus. For we are able ministers. You have already enabled us. The Bible says that our sufficiency is of God. Hallelujah. Maybe you know, whether you know you're calling or not, go ahead and begin to say, my sufficiency is of God. As I leave this prayer, this prayer closet, I, I'm, I'm going to be walking in the sufficiency of God where my calling is concerned. God himself said that my sufficiency is of him and his calling is already upon my life. I live for you, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight I want you to begin to declare freedom from all forms of hindrances. First, first, first Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9 tells us that a door, a factual door has been opened, but there are adversaries. One of those adversaries is ill health, sickness, disease, infirmity, mental or physical ill health of any kind. It has come to, to, to truncate the, the calling of God. It has come to sabotage the destiny that God has for you and for me. I want us to begin to declare war against sickness and disease. The Bible says, God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power so that he went about doing good healing. Therefore, if Jesus came all the way from 
heaven to destroy sickness and disease that we have no business engaging or molly cuddling tonight i want you to begin to speak to your body and say body you are the temple of the holy spirit i've read the book and it says emphatically that you are the the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are operating on the earth because the Holy Spirit is living on the inside of me. He is living on the inside of my spirit. And so in the name of Jesus, I command you to be to be healed according to the word of the Lord. By the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. I drive away all sicknesses, all symptoms, all pains, all discomfort, all malfunction, known or unknown, major or minor, I drive you away right now from my body in the name of Jesus. I'll mute yourself. I'm going to talk to your own body because I'm talking to my body. I'm talking to you. The Bible says Jesus paid the price for you. Therefore, you will not think, you will not, you will not partner with any other but the Spirit of the living God. You are on earth. You are alive because I am still busy working for God upon the earth. When I'm done, we, we get a right old age with the Lord Tyrus is coming till I'm done I will lay you down but until then you continue to work for me you continue to work for the purposes of the kingdom of God upon the earth therefore I drive away headaches I drive away weaknesses I drive away tiredness I drive away high blood pressure I drive away appetite I drive away all forms of arthritis I drive away all forms of cancer I drive away all forms of symptoms of disease sickness, pain, weakness of any kind. In the name of Jesus. The strong spirit of a man sustains him in bodily pain. I sustain you body from my spirit, from the power of God in my I sustain my body in health, in strength, in vigor. In the name of Jesus. Yes, my spirit is strong. From the spirit of the living God. My spirit, my spirit is strong, and I sustain I sustain my liver, and my kidneys. I sustain all the organs of my body. I sustain my heart, I sustain my lungs, I sustain my spleen, I sustain my kidneys, I sustain my gallbladder, I sustain all the functioning of my body with my strong spirit. God, the inside of my spirit has my spirit stronger. Therefore, I sustain my body in health, strength, in vitality. I want Jesus to talk to your own body. I am talking to you, the strong spirit on the inside of me. So, the brothers who have received strength from the presence of God, shall I cut Every Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> 
premature death. I come against every plan of the enemy to create calamity scenarios that cause premature death. Oh, but I will come to a ripe old age. Come on, speak, speak, speak about yourself. Remember, it is only today in the month that you get to pray for yourself in this pla- on this platform. So pray for yourself and say, I am, I, I have. I am determined to fulfill the purposes of God in my generation. And if the Lord Tyrus is coming, I go to my grave at a very ripe old age. At this point, I want you to begin to put, begin to, ah, oh gosh, I want you to begin to pour power into your old age. Begin to say, Lord, I make power available for my old age. Reke Soto Kariana. Begin to prepare and say, Lord, the community that I will live in, all the group of friends, the group of spiritual community, I make power available right now to make it easy for me to live a healthy, thriving life, even at old age. Come on, unmute yourself, church. I don't know why you're not praying. Come on, let's do this. If the Lord tarries is coming, I will fulfill the purposes of God for my generation, and I will come to my grave at a very ripe old age. And so I make preparations in advance. I make prayerful preparations in advance. I make preparations for my social community, for my social network. I make, I make preparations in advance. For my health, for my wealth, in the right age, in the name of Jesus, Rick is not a cash and Cassandra, who said that what be the wife, they shall be one call for a deployment of Cassandra, of Helma, of Kora, Mantia, to Kora, Mantia, and the Helma, Ramadan <laughs> 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 
Right now, we're just going to pray into our relationship life. Ah, that we're all involved in all kinds of relationships, starting from cradle to whatever age you are right now. There are different kinds of relationships in your life, and God expects you to to prosper in all of them. I want you to to take this moment, obviously, because you have the help of the Holy Spirit. You can you can make power available for all the categories of relationships that you are involved with. You you you, you your relationship as somebody's daughter or or son. Your relationship as somebody's boss or somebody's staff all the kinds of relationships we, we can we, we can lump it all together under that heading relationship the bible says in proverbs chapter 8 verse 24 the new king james version says a man who has friends must himself be friendly but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother and, and, and for for a lot of us as you advance in age you will find out that your relationships will be they're, they're not, um, they don't quantify them in money terms. They, they go beyond money. Hallelujah. And this is why we want to begin to believe God that we ourselves will begin to play a part in creating healthy relationships across board. Doesn't matter what the what circumstances are around particular areas of relationship, but you want Bible says as much as lies within you, live peaceably with all men. You want to be the one that is bringing peace to the table. You want to be the one that is easy to be entreated. You want to be the one that is that is easy to work with. It's easy to 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 um to is that makes it easy easy for the other person to walk with you. And so tonight, as we begin to conclude this part of our prayers, I want us to begin to pray concerning all of our relationships. Uh, if there are particular relationships that you have issues with, it's a good time to bring it before the Lord and say, Lord, this area, this relationship, I need help with it. There's some relationships that are really difficult. There are people, there's some people that we need to do life with, but they're difficult. Begin to ask for grace. Begin to ask for the Spirit of God to move into that, into that relationship and to resolve the, the on untie the bottlenecks and bring his grace in the midst of it so that his glory can be seen in all that we do in the name of Jesus. Unmute yourself, pray with somebody. Hallelujah. Lord, I bring all categories of my relationships before you. My relationship with my family, my relationship with my children, my relationship with my spouse my relationship with my siblings, my relationship with my parents, my relationship with friends, my relationship with my business partners, my relationship with my bankers, hallelujah. All my relationship, my business partners, my staff, my colleagues, my seniors at work, my senior professional seniors. Lord, I bring all my relationships before you, Holy Spirit of God. You know, the one that needs help the most. You know, the one that needs your strength help lord make those other brothers say kenya had a make good yet they shake in your hands and i'll make you to do the other take a break it so the balaka she da rick is the two kozana even in cases where people have divorced you can still have healthy relationship one that goes well for the children 
Weeping may endure for the night, but guaranteed joy comes in the morning. The morning must trade places with the night. And so that weeping must trade places with your joy. In the name of Jesus. That person that has been going through a time of heartbreak, weeping through the night and saying, when is my day going to come? Joy comes in the morning. Joy comes in the morning. Halebo shakayaya. Eri bo 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 soto kashida. Hengi ya dada. Hengi ya dada. So says I guess I have some spiritual problems. I yere de seke niana. I'm being attacked spiritually. Yeto zoke ni barabado saka. I come in the power of the name of Jesus. In the power of the stronger man. And I overturn. Every affliction that has been laid against you, leprodo sata kashada, I overturn it, I declare it null and void in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, having spoiled principalities and powers, he made an open show of them, triumphing over them in it by the cross of our Lord Jesus. We triumph over all of the allegations of the spirit of darkness, all of the ordinances that have been written against you, that is tormenting you. We say we declare them null and void in the name of Jesus. Jesus, I decree your freedom. I decree your, dis, your, your, your discharge from every allegation against you in the name of Jesus, because every such allegation has been nailed to the cross of our Lord Jesus. I declare joy, return to that household, return to the, the heart of my brother, of my sister, joy. Joy be restored, joy be restored into that life. Kore kasata kushada, ye do do di kasada, a tesuna kasana. I command an end to the agenda of the enemy to continue to bring sorrow upon sorrow into your life. That cycle of sorrow, I break it now. I break it now. I destroy it by the power of the blood of Jesus. By the power of the blood of Jesus, and I set that brother free, I set that sister free in the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Just give me a few moments. I drive away that darkness, that dark cloud, that dark cloud that that that, that seeks to over, overshadow you. And that dark cloud, it, 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 it comes sometimes like, like some kind of a dense headache. Can't seem to tell where, what's the purpose, how it has come, where it's coming from. It is, it is it's a dark cloud. I command it to, to roll back to hell where it came from. In the name of Jesus, I command the dark cloud to roll away from your life. Roll back to hell where it came from. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the name of Jesus, I declare you free. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
because you are one with the Lord. Therefore, you have overcome by the blood of Jesus. You have overcome by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Why don't you begin to thank the Lord? You have overcome by the blood of Jesus. Unmute yourselves. We've come to halfway. We're going to listen to an announcement and, te- and some testimony. And we will be right back for second part of the week. And I want to congratulate you for your freedom, for your liberation. I want to congratulate you. I declare that you are free and free indeed. For he whom the Son sets free is free free indeed. Hallelujah, you are free indeed. You are free indeed. Believe and you will not die in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yes, this is the only night in the month that we get to pray for ourselves. That is why you can afford to be selfish tonight and just talk to God about you and you and you. Amen. The way you come back to the other prayer initiatives, we may not give you this chance, so take this chance tonight, amen? The Spirit of God is here to help us, and I I dare to say that God indeed has set us free in Jesus' name, amen and amen, praise God. A quick shout out to all our friends out there who are joining us for the first time. It's always a wonderful date night with the Lord at Encounter Night. Please make sure you come again next month. We are here with the Spirit of the living God, enjoying the benefits of sonship. Amen. And a shout out to all those that are always supporting this work. I want to say thank you. It's because you do what you do. That's why we can do what we do. Amen. The Spirit of God will continue to cause resources to come into your hands so that you have good measures pressed down, shaking together and running over. Right now, we're just going to take some announcements and we're going to take a testimony. And right after that, you have our one and only wonderful minister for me QJ and she'll be taking the second part of the night. Over to you announcer and I'll see you at the end. Thank you very much uh, Pastor Agatha and thank you everyone for joining today. You can uh, you can uh, connect with our ministry by going to our YouTube channel Prayer Bootcamp for All Nations. You can click on playlists and then you'll find all the recordings of our meetings. You can pray along over and over again. You can um, share the recordings with your family and friends. We'd like to kindly, we'd like to ask you to kindly like the recordings and also to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also connect with our ministry by sending us an email at prayerbootcamp at oasisfoundation.org.uk and we will send you ministry updates. You can send us your testimonies, your feedback and your prayer requests. Thank you. We'll be taking communion at the end of this meeting, so please have your communion emblems ready. We have Prayer School 104 uh, continuing on uh, 10th of August, so this Thursday. And the topic is the weapon of praise in prayer, praise on your way to manifestation. So please join us, and um, it's never too late to register. If you have not registered, you can you can send an email to us with your first name and your last name. And if you have registered, you don't need to register again. You will receive multiple reminders for each session in your email with the joining link. Thank you. And um, I'd like to just ask anyone who would like to join our email distribution list. If you would like to join, please pop your email address into the chat right now. You can send it privately to the co-host if you prefer. And if you'd like to receive our weekly Friday email where we have an exhortation from Pastor Agatha and where we also make you aware of all the meetings for the next week. Thank you. And with that, I will go straight to our testimony for today. 
I would like to thank God for his healing power and deliverance over my life, my body, and my gastric fun functions. 30 something years ago, I was diagnosed with a condition called gastritis. It pretty much manifested like a stomach ulcer, at least from what I've heard from ulcer sufferers. When it first flared up, I had to be eating four meals a day and drinking milk three times a day in between meals just to keep the pain down. Whenever the food, whenever the food would digest, and about an hour after I had a meal, the pain in my stomach would be excruciating, which was why I had to drink so much milk. I was prescribed with ranitidin, which seemed to take weeks to take effect and work and bring down the flare-up. And so this situation continued for about two years. After a while, I learned to manage the illness. I just, I kind of learned what to do to prevent a flare up or to prevent it from getting really bad. The main thing I needed to do was to eat, uh, to be very regular with my meals, eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner around the same time each day. If I was late in eating a meal for about three times a week, uh, three times a row in a week, my stomach would flare up. I would have the excruciating pain and I would have to take ranitidine for weeks to bring the, fl to bring the flare up down. I learned to take biscuits everywhere I went. People never knew why I ate biscuits at odd times. I obviously could not fast. I was too scared to even try. What I would do instead of fasting food was I would fast social media, all media, phone calls, whatever, but not food. After some years, I moved to another country and my family doctor at the time explained to me that there was a new treatment for the condition. He explained that it was caused by certain bacteria in my stomach or my gut. I was put on antibiotics and Pepto-Bismol for a couple of months. It worked and the stomach flare-up disappeared for a few years. I was so relieved. Eventually, the flare-up started happening again when I missed meals or I ate at irregular times. I went back to the family doctor who recommended that I took a blood test to see if the bacteria was back. The, the, test, was, the test result was negative, no bacteria. The doctor could not explain why I was having the pains. A few years later, I went to the doctor again, another blood test, and still negative. Finally, the doctor suggested a stool test. He said that they are more accurate in identifying that particular bacteria. Again, the result was still negative, so I had no medical explanations for the pains. Over the last two years, I've been listening to a lot of healing teaching by a teacher of the word recommended to me by Pastor Agatha. In addition, I continue to speak my healing at Encounter Night and in my daily faith declarations. Finally, in 2023, I had a conversation with Sister Fumi QJ. I told her the whole story. I explained that I wanted to be able to fast and pray like other Christians. And she told me that the reason the doctors could not find the bacteria is because the bacteria is not there. So around April 2023, my church declared a prayer and fasting time for a young boy in the church who was very ill. I decided to act on my faith that I was healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ, and I decided to participate in the fast. So I missed breakfast on a Monday morning. I had pains the whole time, but I kept declaring my healing. I held on to what Sister Fumi QJ said. I just kept saying the bacteria isn't there. I realized that there was nothing wrong with me. The devil was deceiving me and robbing me of my health and my ability to fast. For the next six days, I had sharp pains on and off that felt like a knife digging into my stomach wall. I ignored them and I praised God. The following Monday, I skipped breakfast again more pains. In, in between, I was uh, praying for the, for the sick child and just praying in general. I kept thanking God for my healing. By the third week, the pains disappeared when I skipped breakfast on, on Monday. I eventually moved up to skipping breakfast two times a week. I no longer have any pains at all when I miss a meal or when I eat, uh, eat a meal late. By God's grace, I will continue to increase my capacity to fast I just want to thank God I have been healed by the wounds of Jesus from a 30-something-year-old sickness. His word works. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Over to you, Sister Fumi QJ. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, unmute yourself and begin to thank him. Rufeka is here. The healer is here. Make the glory of our body and our body. Thank you for that. 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 Thank you Thank you Thank you Hallelujah. What a powerful first half we've had. Oh my God. Oh, we could go to bed right now. God is walking in nurse words have been released that can only bring permanent positive changes. In this second half, we're going to be praying into the economics of our life. But before we start, I want us to realize that God has given us ability. We are not weak and we are not weaklings. God has given us power and ability as New Testament creations to make permanent changes in our sphere of influence, changes that are consistent with his nature and his plan. God has given us power. It is not a lack of power. It is a lack of use. So tonight we're going to use our power, our ability. He has, we are in partnership and in alignment with the Holy Spirit, our agency of change, our architect of transformation. I want us to pray tonight as we mean it. Let this month of August, let it be different from every other month, that the mission of the Holy Holy Ghost in our life will be manifested to the maximum. So as we pray tonight in agreement, anything inconsistent with the new creation agenda for our lives, we are going to address. Anything that is not in alignment with the planting of God, we are going to uproot. Anything challenging our inheritance, anything challenging our inheritance that cannot be explained, analyzed, or assessed, we must completely destroy. Tonight, nothing is going to be missed. So we are going to be writing new laws, new decrees, speaking over our lives, our destinies, uh, authorizing and legalizing the Holy Spirit to do what he does best. We are custodians and we decide to take custody. Romans 15, it says now, I want you to listen to this. Now I say that Jesus Christ was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of God to confirm, underline, to confirm the promises made unto the fathers. Everything we see as a promise in the whole testament, Jesus Christ came to confirm it. Every word of elevation leadership that Jesus God spoke to those guys, Jesus Christ came to confirm it. We are the ones that are expression of this stuff. So as we pray, I want you to unmute yourself. Feel free to pray. We're going to be praying extensively in the Holy Ghost. So I want you to pray. The Bible says in Revelations 5:12, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. The 
preserving lamb that was sacrificed to receive mm -hmm. power, riches, wisdom, might, honor, glory, and blessings. Tonight, Father, we thank you for the benefit and outcome of redemption. We say yes, sir. Oh, God, meet yourself, say yes, sir. We say yes to the finished work. We say yes to our redemption status. We say yes to our redemption identity. Tonight, we pray as we begin to pray to the economic empowerment of our lives, sir. Yes. Our ministries, our jobs, our careers, yes. our businesses. Oh, yes. we thank you for the help of the Holy Ghost. Thank you for the energy. Where 
to Shada, I want you to pray for eyes that see. Romans 11, it talks about the people that had eyes, but they couldn't see. They had ears, but they could not hear. I want you to pray. Lord, open my understanding. Open my eyes. Show me opportunities, concepts, ideas, insights, all that is required. Pekasala, open my eyes. Luke 24, 45 said they walked with Jesus. They did not know he was there. Then he prayed, Lord, open their understanding. Then he opened their understanding. Tonight I, I pray, as I'm praying for myself, Lord, open my eyes, open my understanding to ideas, show me opportunities, show me ideas, knowledge of witty inventions, amuse yourself, pray, open my understanding, Ramanta, 
Those who know, those who can see, will always know the way as far as your eyes can see. Oh Lord, today, tonight, we pray for illumination. We pray for light forever. Light will always lord it over darkness. Light is the master of darkness. We pray tonight, Lord, that we, like we prayed in Ephesians 1 that the eyes of our understanding may be flooded with light. Pray for light. Light. In that your business, there is a way. In this ministry, there is a way. In this career, career musialada, there is a way for me. Matoshi la pronto se prade casa. Gasalea with the Holy Ghost. There is illumination with the Holy Ghost. There is illumination, insight, concepts. Abekalian Bradosa. Please pray. Matukarianta. Agree with me. Please pray, Jesus said, John 8, 12, they that follow me will not walk in darkness, but they shall have the light of life. There is a light required for this life. Tonight, I want us to make a demand on the Holy Ghost, the light of life, the light required for this job, for this career, to be the best, to be the spotlighted one, to be the highlighted one, the light required. Rekasha, Eli was in the temple as a 
prophet, but you could not hear the voice of God. I want you to pray. Eyes that see, ears that hear. Manta yekalaba on this business. Kurianta shete nimbranda basoli kata. If you are a minister of God, pray. Ratoshia takalaga rende basoli manta yakata. Pray for your career. Pray for your job. Pray for your business. He that follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. There is a light, requisite light required to shine in that business. Pray. Ratoseta kalambros kotoyada eto franto sheta de krado apareka swa shane masoro ato tomashada esalia masada eto krado kafia da prosoto atakata atakata todo fonte kasula ma register your voice eta matokarianto ndo kora manta la kanta karende eta katia matokaria 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 in that ministry, oh yes, no more guess what? No more trial and error. Matter that the business must flourish. It is a celebration. Oh yes, that's a celebration. It's a celebration. Matata, matata, matata. Pray, pray, pray. Eyes that hear, eyes that hear. Ears that hear. Oh Lord, no so carry a calamity. Shonare hear, anka saka. Clarity of vision. Clarity <laughs> I Ela 
you need to pray lord i'm going to pray for something lord give me visibility you are matthew 5 14 you are the light of the world you are the light of the world a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden pray lord in this my career give me visibility in this my business give me visibility i cannot be covered i cannot be obscure i cannot be small i demand to be visible brother shata a kalama shata when they mention this business my name must be a reference when they mention this ministry brando kaliaba so mute yourself and pray i am the light of the world a rikasiala tushida a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden you cannot be covered you cannot be obscure you cannot be small matekalia it is inconsistent with scriptures your redemption status forbids it lord we take them to our place god we command them Matosha, 
And the gentiles shall come to your light, and the kings to the brightness of your rising. Pray this business, this ministry, this my job, this my career. I will be highlighted, I will be spotlighted. You will be the reference pointer. God will feature you, He will make you a force that cannot be ignored. Let the gentiles come to my light, and the kings to the brightness of my rising. Lord, arise, let your glory be seen in every area of our finances. Pray in our ministry, in our business, in this career. Mateshwanda Basa, spotlight us, spotlight us, highlight us. Please pray, pray. Ratosatiakata. Ratinella, <laughs> 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 
yourself a Two more prayer points and we're gone. Second Corinthians 9 8. And God is able, God has ability, God has power to make all grace, every favor, every favor, every ble- earthly blessing come in abundance to you. I want you to pray in the month of Augusta, according to this scripture, and because you are a giver and you are a tighter, God is able to make all grace, all grace, every favor, every earthly blessing, everything you need for elevation and acceleration. Your progress is accelerated. I declare tonight in agreement that our progress on this ministry, in this job, in this career, our progress is 
accelerated. Naketia, we shut down slow progress, delayed progress, stagnated progress. Opriakatia likane kanto shiada. Oh, meet yourself, pray. We'll soon be finished. Erabaso kalamata, nakarabaso ntoshede. Matoshanda As we agree this last few minutes, God, pray for businesses, pray for careers, pray for those who are looking for opportunities. We speak against anything impeding your acceleration, impeding your elevation, impeding advancement, Anything impeding, anything limiting your elevation, your advancement, your acceleration, anything standing, we come against them in the name that is higher than every other name. And we give up, give up, give up, Mato Shada, Esula Mekuto, Predesa, Lopra, Ashen, the path of the justice as a shining light, Erato, Kalama, Atoprando, Akatilama, 
Mato Feto, Uraco Soto Yada, Sanko Joshua, Mato Corabasa, Cadia, Alema Shodeva, Caliamba, Etono, Sola, Tesia, Apata, Rabasu, Rabasu, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Father, we're so grateful tonight. Hallelujah. Are you ready for communion? The Bible says in every labor, there is profit. In every labor, there is profit. New, New International Version says all hard work brings a profit. But mere talk leads to poverty. Tonight you're going to call for your profits because you have been laboring. And you, you, you want to you want to enter August and enter the rest of the year with profits from the pre from all the labors of the previous months and of course to begin to bring in the profits of the subsequent months hallelujah and so begin to thank the lord tonight that as you come to communion table that you want to lay claims on your profits on all of your profit the profit from your labors and that the lab, the, even the labors that you're about to to invest into the days and weeks and months to come that it will come to you as profitable labor many of us have labored and are yet to see the profit but tonight in the name Name of Jesus, we destroy the yoke of of uh, of um, of uh, we we destroy the yoke of all forms of 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 um, uh, what's that thing called now? Harvest droughts, you know, droughts in, in, that that eat up the harvest. You know, all your harvest, I command it to be released in the name of Jesus. In the mm -hmm. name of Jesus, the Bible says, in every kind of labor, there is profit. And I'm calling for your profit to be released tonight. As we partake of the communion table, we are partaking of the covenant, the new covenant ratified in the blood of Jesus. And on that table, we release your profit that has been locked down hitherto. In the name of Jesus, I want you to know that no profit. Yeah, it's called, someone told me now, crop failure. Yeah, all forms of crop failure. We overturn right now. We overturn right now. We overturn it right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, because the Bible says in all labor, there is profit. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, grab your communion and we just want to commit it to the Lord as we come to the communion table. Jesus said, as often as you do this, you remember me. You remember me. Do it in remembrance of me. What do you remember of the Lord tonight? We remember him as our Lord and Savior, the one that saved us, the one that called us into his army, the one that has redeemed us with his own blood. And so in the name of Jesus, we yield our lives to him totally so that he has the right to order our lives and decide which way we go. He has the right to, to, to show us the path to trail. Hallelujah. And we also we also come as one that has been have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. And everything that that blood represents, we partake of it tonight. In the name of Jesus, we bless this communion emblems. In Jesus' name, we declare that as we partake of it, we show the Lord's death, his burial, 
resurrection and ascension to glory in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. Go ahead and partake of the communion. What a wonderful night it has been. I know that I know that I know that things have shifted in the spirit. I want you to make use of the resources that have been made available to us here. I've noticed that a number of you have not yet subscribed to our channel. Please go ahead, subscribe, like, and share. By now, this channel should really be oversubscribed. So I'm appealing to you. This is a special appeal. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and also make use of the recordings there. I can tell that some of you have not been listening or going back to use these resources. It's it's an appeal. Go ahead, use these resources because we know that according to the mandate of God on this ministry, you'll be prepared for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ from the things, from all the resources that God is releasing through this work. You will be prepared for the return of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is actually imminent. So tonight I want to I want to encourage you, please make use of all the resources that God has made available to us and uh, um, go ahead and let the world know that God has a group of people that have a firebrand in his hands that are making the word of God a reality in our lives here on earth. And now uh, we see that testimonies keeps coming in and we glorify God for that. While I'm at a testimony issue, I just want to thank those that have been giving us their testimonies, but there are quite a few of you that owe us testimonies. We want to appeal to you again. Send us testimonies so that others can be blessed. Hallelujah. Anyone be blessed? tonight why don't you shout hallelujah as we share the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit, the holy spirit. Yes. With us now, now forever amen amen all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen Amen. 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 Amen.